Right guys, um, now this is something that you can do with any stone fruit. I have already shown you how to do a mango and this is a nectarine or you can do it with peaches, nectarines, anything that has got a pip on the inside of it. So you are going to do it exactly the same way as you did the apple really. Okay, so make sure that you've got claw grip and that your fingers are behind the blade, right? And then you are simply going to angle your knife until it hits the pip. And then you're going to slightly move it outwards and follow the line of the pip down. All right, so you're going to end up with a curved section, right? And then you're going to flip it and you're going to do exactly the same on the other side and then do the two side pieces. Now be careful with fruits like um, nectarines or peaches or something because they, they actually get quite slippery. Bananas, pineapples, anything like that. So you do have to get a good grip on it before you actually start cutting. And then once you've got all your little segments, you can simply again claw grip guys. Remember if your fingers are behind the blade and these ones, bridge, slice down through 90 degrees and you've got cubes, right? And you're going to do that with all of your nectarines that you've got. Guys, once you get this basic cutting technique and you practice it, you'll be able to do any round fruits or any stoned fruits. They all follow the same principles. There we go.